Welcome to Inside the Nest, where you get a bird's eye view of everything that's going on here at GCT Intermediate. Hello, I'm Lexi George. And I'm Riley Bennett. And here's today's news. Basketball season is here. The teams have been chosen and practices have begun. Here is Benton Farmer with a few of those players to talk about the season. Hi, I'm Benton Farmer and I'm here interviewing Lane Compton about the basketball season. Lane, are you looking forward to the basketball season? Yes, I am. And what are you looking forward to? Um, just the team, how much we've improved since last season, and how they've been Thank you. Hello, my name is Benton Farmer, and I'm with Max Lane talking basketball. Max, what are you looking forward to this season? Um, I'm looking forward to um, playing a lot and winning a lot of games. And which team do you think will be the hardest to beat? Valley View. Thank you, Max. And now we're with Tanila. Nyla, what are you looking forward to this season? I'm looking forward to winning a lot of games. What's your favorite offense or defense? Offense. Thank you. Now I'm with Isabel Matthews and Ava Williams. What are y'all looking forward to this basketball season? I'm looking forward to winning the basketball tournament. I'm like ready for it. I'm looking for it. I'm ready for it. to play basketball and ready to be sharing the ball and be ready for a team. Do you like offense or defense more? Defense. Thank you. Now I'm with Foster Ash. What is? What are you looking forward to this basketball season? Uh, win a bunch of basketball games going this year. And what is the best offense or defense? Uh, offense. Why is that so important? Because we get to make. Well, we get to make shots and win the game. Thank now you. I'm with Katie May and Katie Joe. What are y'all looking forward to this basketball season? To score points. Um, to win games. And what is the best, offense or defense? Offense. Defense. Thank, Thank you. you, Bitten. The archery team is also in full swing. The team held tryouts the last couple of weeks, and the new members found out their spots on November 8th. Here is Carly Yeager with that story. Carly Yeager and I am here with Madison Hatley. Why do you do archery? Uh, because my family has, sort of has a tradition of doing archery every year to try to get on the team because my brother also did it. How do you feel about your teammates around you? Some of them I get angry at a lot because they annoy me out of my mind but other ones are my friends and I'm fine with them. How often do you practice? Um, Twice a week when we actually have practice, and then I'll practice at home a lot. Do you like archery and why? Yes, because it's fun, and usually people wouldn't think it's a girly sport that girls would do. They think it's more of a boy sport. And I just like, I like hunting and stuff, so I mean, it's really fun. Thank you for that information. I'm from and I'm with Adrenaline Teasley. Why do you do archery? <laughs> It's a hobby, and um, I just like doing it. It's fun. How do you feel about your teammates? I'm glad that most of my friends made the team, but most of, but some of my other friends didn't. How often do you practice? Uh, about once a week. Uh, twice or three times a week. Do you like archery a lot? I like archery because you get to spend time with your friends, and it's. If you make it to stay, you get to spend a lot of time with your friends and family and go on some trips. Okay, thank you for that information. Hi, I'm Chloe Yeager and I'm with Ella Ballard. Why do you do archery? Because um, it helps me with my aiming skills. Okay, how do you feel about your teammates? I like them. How often do you practice? Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do you like archery and why? I like archery so I can go hunting with my dad. Okay, thank you for that information. Hi, I'm Chloe Yeager and I'm with Nina Graham. What skills does archery teach you that you could use in everyday life? I feel like archery can teach me how to properly use a bow in their way and I might be able to take what they taught me and possibly use it to go hunting in the future. Okay, why do you do archery? 
I really think it is creative and I need a extracurricular activity. <laughs> How do you feel about all, all of your teammates? I like to be a um, good, I like to use good sportsmanship and they are a um, really good archery and some of them made the top 15 and I'm really proud of them. So. How often do you practice? Usually I'll practice a little bit at home with my bow at aiming, but I don't have the same bow that they use, so I feel like I can't really practice the same way that I do practice with my aiming. Okay, thank you, Mina Gramley. Thank you, Carly. On November 15th, GCT Intermediate hosted a veterans luncheon to pay respect to the veterans that serve our country that are related to our GCT Intermediate students. Here are a few clips of that special luncheon. On Friday, November 15th, Student Council also hosted Friday refreshments. Money raised on this day will go towards buying another water filtration station for our students to use to fill water bottles. Our book restart will come to an end this week with an assembly on November 21st. Over the last few weeks, the students, teachers, and parents have been on an adventure with Chase Ambrose as he tries to pick up his life after getting amnesia from a fall off a roof. Throughout this journey, we see how someone's actions can have a huge impact on the others around us. We can't wait to see how the book concludes. Here is Riley Smith with a few students to talk about their favorite parts of the book have been so far. I'm Riley Smith from Inside the Nest, and here we have a student from Miss Shulk's room to tell us some things that she likes about Restart. So what is your favorite part of Restart so far? Probably that he made friends with Shelf Hannah and the little kid he used to have. Okay, now what do you think it would be like if you had amnesia? I would be lonely because I would be on my own. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Riley Smith from Inside the Nest, and I'm here with Aubrey Towsley from Miss Miller's class. Aubrey, what is your favorite part of this book so far? 
I like how he's starting to be friends at first with Shoshana, and then it's kind of like a mixed story because he's friends with Shoshana, and then he's like, okay. Now, what would it be like if you had had amnesia? Ooh. <laughs> I think my friends would probably think it was like a joke, like how Bear and Aaron did to Chase, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't get it, so yeah, because I joke a lot. Okay. Thank you, Aubrey. Hello, I'm Lauren Shane from Fifth Grade Pace, with here with Tatum Cooper for Inside the Nest. So, Tatum, what is your favorite part of Restart so far? Um, that um, he makes a lot of fun to Chase. And what would it be like if you had an amnesia like Chase? I would feel like kind of left out and like I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Riley Smith from Inside the Nest. I'm here with Miss Porter to talk about Restart. So what was your favorite thing about Restart? My favorite thing about Restart was whenever Chase Ambrose was able to create a relationship with Mr. Solway at the home. Mr. Solway was he, he was not very happy in his life, and Chase was able to come in and change that. And to everyone, that was such a surprise because of the type of person Chase was in the beginning. And you you could tell that Chase really changed, and he, he was a new person. Okay. Now, what would it be like if you had amnesia? What would it be like if I had amnesia? I don't know. I think I would be completely lost, and I would have no idea. There are a lot of memories in my life that I don't want to lose. But... And there were, would be some things that I would like to not ever remember again. So, but it would be hard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Riley Smith. The fifth grade pay students have been working hard on the first issue of the Regal Eagle for the school year. This will be one of the two issues that will go out the school year, and each one will highlight all the cool things going on at GCT Intermediate. That's right. Along with the information you need to know, want to know, the paper also includes a word search, dot to dot, a comic, jokes, and lots of other interesting facts and graphs. Papers will go on sale starting this week. They only cost 50 cents a copy. You can get them in the office or go see Miss Andrews. Upcoming events. December 3rd and 4th is Battle of the Books. December 11th is a spelling bee. The top spellers from each class will compete in a school-wide spelling bee. Students have been given the list and we can't wait to see which speller will come out on top. December 12th will be the night the 5th grade choir will have their Christmas choir concert at the high school auditorium. Now for our weekly spotlight. The holiday season is up on us and everyone celebrates the holidays in their own unique way. Here's Ava Sells with that story. Hi, I'm Ava Sells, and I'm going to be interviewing a few people about their favorite holidays, traditions, and why they like them so much. Hello, I'm with Jack, and I'm interviewing him about what his favorite holiday traditions are. What is your favorite holiday tradition, Jack? Uh, I like seeing everybody getting their presents. Okay. Why is that so important to you? Because it's fun. Okay. Thank you. I'm with Whitley interviewing her about her favorite holiday traditions. What is your favorite holiday tradition, Whitley? Uh, mine is Thanksgiving because um, it's my grandparents here to have me uh, for Thanksgiving, and that's important to me because I don't get to see them very much. Why is that also important to you? Because my grandparents, um, they live in Fort Smith, and they don't get to see them. Okay, thank you, Whitley. Now I'm with Gavin from Miss Bowen's class. What's your favorite holiday tradition? My favorite holiday is Christmas. And why is it so important, important to you? It's so important to me because we get together and share gifts and we play games and we worship the Lord. Thank you, Gavin. Now I'm with Riley from Miss Bowen's class. What's your favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Why is it so important to you? Because I get to see almost all my family. Okay, thank you, Riley. Jackson from Miss Clayton's class. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. What do you like about Christmas? Mostly just the presents. Now I'm with Dash from Miss Clayton's class. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Why is it so important to you? I like the Christmas tree up and I like presents. Now I'm with Izzy from Miss Clayton's class. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Why is Christmas so important to you? Because we get to celebrate the gift, the, all the giving and the blessed 
Thank you, Ava, for those interviews. Well, that's all for this week's version of Inside the Nest. Follow us each week to get the inside scoop at GCT Media. Bye! Bye.